Friends, today we are going to discuss about pulmonary arterial hypertension. In this module, we shall be overviewing how to make a diagnosis of pulmonary arterial hypertension, understand its pathophysiology, diagnostic approach and management. All of us know that pulmonary artery, they are a low pressure channels which take the blood from right heart to the lungs. It is also a fact that lung is the only organ which receives all the cardiac output. What is important is that the physiology of this is different from systemic circulation and normally pulmonary arteries are in a state of vasodilatation. If you see this particular cartoon, here you will see that the, it's a low pressure system and in these cases, the blue one detects the pulmonary, uh, in, in these cases if you see it, the blue one is the venous circulation and in this, the uh, right side uh, of the heart sends the blood to the lungs where it gets oxygenated comes to the left heart and the pressures usually vis-a-vis -vis systemic circulation is much lower and average mean pressure here is 14 millimeters of mercury whereas a range is from systolic pressures in this is 25 and diastolic pressure is 8. Now when we talk in terms of pulmonary hypertension it means the blood pressure in the pulmonary circulation has gone up that's what it means. And, but it is a heterogeneous group of disorders, but there are sh uh, common histological abnormalities and the same pathophysiology. In simple words, if I say so, is that the factors which lead to pulmonary hyper hypertension are numerous. The disease etiology is heterogeneous, but they have one similar physiological consequence that is of increase in blood pressure in the pulmonary circulation. Now, this in terms elevation of pressures in pulmonary hypertension in pulmonary artery has a secondary effect on the right ventricle leading it to hypertension to its hypertrophy, dilatation and failure. In this strain or this hypertrophy of the right ventricle can also precipitate features like angina, persons can feel shortness of breath and there can also occur raised elevation of JVP along with pedial edema and hepatomegaly. Therefore, pulmonary hypertension is a pathophysiological disorder which involving multiple clinical conditions and can complicate the majority of cardiovascular and respiratory disease. And the reason is very simple because in both sides of the heart, the right and the left, you have the lungs and the circulation to the lungs, the blood.